Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on the DC TV show. So, today we're going to be breaking down the new promotional trailer that they just released. So, just to reiterate, there's nothing new that you will see in the shows, but it's just a promotional video. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So as we head towards September, as we get a bit closer to the premiere of our DC TV shows, we will begin to get new information and new trailers and new promos and stuff like that. So this is something that they do quite a lot. It's a different iteration of their entire CW roster doing the promotional shots and just teasing maybe some action, maybe some of the characters that are going to be heavily featured in the next season. So we're going to be breaking down what can be broken down. Obviously there's not going to be like too much but there's a few little nice teasers I reckon so. So something that Arrow is doing next season in season 7 and I may totally be overthinking everything here but just bear with me is that essentially what they're doing is with Oliver being in prison for a certain amount of months and he's probably going to carry on being in prison for a few episodes after the premiere, no one has been a vigilante around the city as far as we know from the trailer and we get to see a shot of Black Canary, obviously this is just promotional, so this teases the idea that she will come back as the Black Canary, which obviously we have no doubts about ourselves, but you know, for those people who are just going by the trailer, you know, this should back it up that they definitely do plan on bringing Black Canary back and using her and the other team members as full-on vigilantes once again. So just throughout the promo we get the shots from all the different shows like Arrow, Legends of Tomorrow, The Flash, and then Supergirl. The Supergirl, Flash and Arrow stuff is the best. There's not too many legend shots, there's the Atom, there's Sarah, some pretty badass ones with Sarah. And so the final one is Black Lightning, there's only one shot in the entire thing which is actually from season 1. But essentially what they're teasing is the costume side to what to expect and the most interesting thing I would say in the entire trailer is the Flash running. You get to see Barry running and you could see this in many different ways but this is a promotional trailer and you get to see Barry running in a suit that is very very light so could it be the new suit I have no idea it potentially looks like the new suit and maybe it's just their CGI version of what to expect maybe how it's gonna look obviously I could be totally wrong it's just the video is not very good quality because it's from a source on Twitter which I will link in the description below. There is no way that I'm going to be able to pronounce the name right so go check that out in the description below. And so essentially I think this could be the suit and I think it's just essentially just there to excite people for what's to come. And so as we go on throughout the trailer we get just different shots. We got another one of Black Canary which is a very cool shot. It seems to be using a lot more special effects than the past trailers so they're really trying to amp it up and hype up the new seasons which I really do admire because I felt like last season the promotional stuff before was a bit lacking. Essentially what they did last year in August they put together those promo trailers where they include new footage but they mash it all together and I don't think it works maybe as good as they would like it to. I think it's better when they do the individual trailers. So I think something like this is kind of good, how it's just promotional shots. And I think with the new stuff, with the new scenes, I think it should be in the individual trailers because a lot of people miss it, thinking that perhaps it's just not a normal, proper trailer. So I would say they should probably skip out on that this year, but that's just my opinion. And so then we get some shots of Oliver in his green arrow suit, obviously again theorising, but it teases the fact that Oliver's going to get out of prison. And so we get some really, really nice shots of Supergirl. Once again, like I said, the Supergirl arrow and flash shots are the best. Really, really badass and really great. And then we get a brilliant shot of Vibe using his powers, great special effects, really looks awesome. And then we get a shot of Supergirl. Supergirl and she walks down the stairs 
and then at the end obviously we get a TV screen of the super season with our favorite heroes with the main cast members and they're all lined up so essentially what this is like I said since the beginning it's promotion for it and I think it's great promotion and if you do think about it in the way that I was thinking about it when I was watching the trailer it does sort of tease what's to come next season for those people that only think about the trailer and don't think around the obvious things like say Black Canary never suiting up again or Oliver staying in prison forever you know it's just pretty simple but anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later goodbye